Hi there, I'm Colton, and today we're going to go over the setup and calibration of the ProScan infrared sensor. I'm going to, be, going to be using a few tools to accomplish this today. My power supply, multimeter, my cable, my ProScan, and my Tri-Clamp T. The ProScan comes shipped with a default calibration, but we recommend using your own samples to get a more true result. So today, I'm going to be using water, 1% milk, and half and half as an example. So let's get started. So first attach the ProScan to your T. If you don't have a T, you can do it inside your process. When pouring your sample into the T, be sure to pour slowly so that no air bubbles are in front of the sensor. Be sure to cap your tea to avoid any external light from getting in. Once your sample is in your tea, you can turn on the unit. We'll start by turning the rotary switch to position zero. Once there, you can press and hold the button and you'll see the yellow LED flash twice. That means your point was taken. Once that's done, you can empty your sample. And proceed to the next. In order to get a good calibration, you want to go in ascending order from materials that contain the least amount of milk fat to those that contain the most. My second sample is going to be 1% milk. Again, I'm going to pour slowly so that no air bubbles are in front of the sensor. Now turn the switch to position one. And again, press and hold the enter button until the yellow LED flashes twice. And that'll be your second point. Now in between samples, you may want to use water to rinse out your tea in order to get a little bit better results. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Swish it around in there. Since we're done with that, pour it right back in. All right. Now for my last sample, I'll be using half and half. The ProScan allows for up to eight different calibration samples, but only needs two to operate. Turn the switch to the next position. Press and hold the enter button, two yellow LED flashes to save the point, and you're done. Whichever point you end on is going to be your 20 milliamp point. So depending on how many calibration points you have, that's which one you would end it on. In order to check your calibration, you can use your multimeter. So if you want, you can pour this sample out and pour another sample in and see the corresponding milliamp output. So that's it. Your ProScan's calibrated and you can put it in your system. If you have any questions about calibrating your ProScan, you can always call us or go to our website, awlake.com. I hope this video was helpful and have a wonderful day.